Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video, we will be looking at hybridization. Hybridization is when atomic orbitals combine to form new hybrid orbitals. Hybridization is necessary to describe the bonding in molecules. For example, as we saw in the VSCPR video, methane, CH4, has a tetrahedral structure. Carbon forms four equal single bonds to hydrogen atoms. The electron configuration of carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. As can be seen in the orbital diagram, there are only two unpaired electrons in the 2p orbitals that could be used for bonding. Therefore, it would seem that carbon can only form two bonds, not four. Furthermore, these electrons are in two different p orbitals that are 90 degrees to each other. Therefore, the angle of 109.5 degrees cannot be explained. In order to explain the bonding, we need to look at hybridization. In this process, an electron is promoted from the 2s orbital of a carbon atom to the 2p orbital. The 2s and the 2p orbitals then combine to form four new hybrid orbitals called sp3. Note that these new hybrid orbitals have the same energy, which is between that of the 2p and the 2s orbitals. The sp3 hybrid orbitals produced have a larger lobe like in a p orbital where the electron is more likely to be found and a smaller lobe. Note that the dot in the center denotes the nucleus. In this diagram we can see that the sp3 hybrid orbitals are arranged at 109.5 degrees from each other, just like in the Lewis diagram. The sp3 hybrid orbitals interact with the 1s orbitals from the hydrogen atoms to form four equivalent single bonds. Note that to make the diagram clearer, the smaller lobes of the hybrid orbitals are not displayed. In reality, the combination of the 1s and the sp3 hybrid orbitals would form bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals, as discussed in the previous video, molecular orbitals. This type of hybridization also occurs for other atoms. For example, in the ammonium ion NH4+, and the boron tetrafluoride ion BF4-, there is a tetrahedral arrangement around the central atom, so nitrogen and boron are sp3 hybridized in these cases. There are also other types of hybridization. In sp2 hybridization, an electron is promoted from the 2s orbital to the 2p orbital, as before. However, this time, the 2s and only two 2p orbitals hybridize. Three equivalent hybrid orbitals are formed, called sp2. The shape of a sp2 hybrid orbital is similar to that of a sp3 hybrid orbital. As less p orbitals are involved, the sp2 orbital is more similar to a s orbital than a sp3 orbital is. As the diagrams in this video are just sketches, the difference will not be seen. In sp2 hybridization, one 2p orbital remains unhybridized. This hybridization explains the bonding in ethene, C2H4. The three sp2 hybrid orbitals are used to form two single bonds to two hydrogen atoms and one single bond to the carbon atom. The remaining p orbitals with a lighter blue color on each carbon atom are used to form the double bond with each other. This is a pi bond as discussed in the previous video. When the central atom is sp2 hybridized, the molecular geometry is trigonal planar, with bond angles of 120 degrees. Other common examples of sp2 hybridization can be found in boron trifluoride, BF3, or sulfur trioxide, SO3. In sp hybridization, only a 2s and 1-2p orbital hybridize two equivalent hybrid orbitals are formed, called sp. The shape of a sp hybrid orbital is similar to that of a sp2 hybrid orbital. As less p orbitals are involved, the sp orbital is more similar to an s orbital than a sp2 or a sp3 orbital. In sp hybridization, two 2p orbitals remain unhybridized. This hybridization explains the bonding in ethyne, C2H2. The two sp hybrid orbitals are used to form a single bond to a hydrogen atom and one single bond to the carbon atom. The remaining p orbitals are used to form the double 
and triple bond. In this case, there are two pi bonds. Note that the p orbitals are perpendicular to each other. When the central atom is sp hybridized, the molecular geometry is linear with a bond angle of 180 degrees. Other common examples of sp hybridization are seen in nitrogen, N2, or hydrogen cyanide, HCN. To reinforce your understanding, I would recommend that you draw this type of diagram for the molecules suggested in the description. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.